Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.8, number 57, and here we were given two ordered pairs, and we were asked to create two regression models. They wanted one of them to be exponential and one of them to be logarithmic. So I put my data into my lists like that. I'm going to hit zoom 9, all right, and all I see is two ordered pairs. Now, just based on two ordered pairs, this could be any kind of growth. It actually looks linear to me, but we weren't directed or instructed to make a linear regression model, we were told go exponential and logarithmic. So I'm going to do that. So let me go back to my home screen and let's do the exponential one first. So the exponential logarithmic or exponential model, I believe is in option zero. Let me, oh good, my memory worked. So let me do L1 against L2 and put that into Y1. All right, so I've got all of that. I'm gonna hit enter and there's my, Exponential model, all right, my, my A value is 1.034, my base of my power is 1.281. Um, you see that equation, I dropped it into Y1. So far, right, you see the exponential regression model. Okay, that's only part of it. And now it's saying, go ahead and let's do this again, but let's get a logarithmic model. And since I want both of them on the screen at the same time, I'm gonna drop this logarithmic model into Y2. So I'm going to hit stat calc, and I believe logarithmic uh, regression is 9. Yeah. So let's do L1 against L2. But this time I'm going to put it into Y2 because I don't want to get rid of that exponential model that I previously found. So if I hit enter, there's my logarithmic model. And just to show you what I'm doing on the Y equals level, right? there's my exponential model that we previously found. Here's the logarithmic model that we just found. And let's hit zoom 9. Alright, and here comes my logarithmic model. Great. Now, that looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like a, a fish, sort of, to me. But it says graph the points, both formulas, along, the and, uh, along with the line y equals x. So let me go now into y3 and add in x. And when I add in x, you're gonna see that that graph, actually let me make it thick just so we can really check this out. There we go. All right, wait for it. There we go. So you can see that thick line, y equals x, really cuts that graph in half, right? They're symmetric on either side of the line, y equals x. And we talked about this, this graphic phenomenon back in, I think it was section 3.7. When you have the line y equals x and your two functions are perfect reflections of each other over that line y equals x, you have inverse relationships. So this logarithmic model and this exponential model, those are inverse functions of one another. And we've been talking about that in chapter six as well, that exponential functions and logarithmic functions are inverse functions of one another. And here's just the graphical view of that through this exponential and logarithmic model. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.